This past year has been unprecedented in the challenges that it's thrown at us, but I'd like to tell you actually something positive that it's done for me. Being in the unique position to support women and their families, which through a difficult time, um, has been a real privilege and has definitely contributed to my development um, as a student midwife, which is soon to be qualified. One thing that I am proud of nursing during the COVID pandemic is how teams have come together to comfort and support each other. Despite this being my third pregnancy, COVID-19 provoked huge feelings of anxiety and uncertainty. I recently returned to nursing by joining the temporary register to take part in the COVID-19 vaccination programme. I recently looked after a gentleman on a night shift who would come into hospital for something relatively simple. He stayed with us for about 10 days and on one night shift I was looking after him. He became agitated, confused and was in a lot of pain. It's been really difficult. I've seen things that I didn't expect to see and there's been days where I haven't been able to cope emotionally and mentally. COVID-19 infection has claimed so many lives. Lives of our friends, loved ones, families and colleagues. Would I be able to follow my birth plan? Would my husband be able to be with me? Would I have to labour with a mask on? I left shift that morning knowing that I'd done my best, but I still felt like that my best wasn't good enough. I returned that evening for another night shift and was called into the office by my manager. But I've also seen patients who weren't meant to make it make it. I've been lucky enough to be involved in the rehab and recovery of patients who've been on ventilators for days and weeks. The midwife-led team at St George's Hospital Tooting in London were amazing, reassuring me in all my prenatal appointments. A huge thank you to all the midwives who kept working through these challenging times. They've kept going throughout the pandemic and without them we would be lost. Unfortunately the man had suffered a cardiac arrest and died later that day. I think if it wasn't for the support of my manager and the team, I probably wouldn't have got through that period and maybe have not even stayed in nursing. It's been so empowering to be a part of the frontline fight against COVID and I'm so proud to be a part of the nursing community. It's definitely a community that looks out for each other, especially when we're feeling helpless and hopeless and even now when normal routines are disrupted and chaotic. So much of this pandemic has been about isolation, about loneliness, about separating ourselves from one another and to be in a situation to use my clinical skills to offer hope to people, to offer information, to educate them on the vaccination um, and, and what it may do for our society. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be involved. I'm so thankful to have been able to return to nursing on the temporary register and I'm grateful for the doors back into nursing that is open for me. I would like to use this opportunity to thank all our healthcare professionals, especially our nurses and midwives, for all your hard work during the COVID-19 pandemic. It gives me great pleasure and great joy to be able to call people that I haven't been able to visit because of lockdown and all the restrictions, but to call people and see their face light up. Light up because I am calling because likewise, seeing them brings me joy. It's been absolutely amazing to see how staff have been so innovative, showcasing the expertise of clinical skills in a care home environment. I couldn't be prouder of staff, especially since they're also inspiring new generations with their moments. Keeping people alive and keeping people safe is something I'm never going to take for granted. And now I just can't wait to be a qualified nurse. I really want to be an intensive care nurse. It has made me stronger and it has made me more resilient. It's a year since the UK went into its first national lockdown to control the spread of COVID-19 and our lives have changed dramatically since then. But if one good thing has come out of this really difficult past year, it's that the whole of the UK has been reminded how important nursing and midwifery professionals are. Your expertise and kindness have made such a difference to people's health and well-being. And I know the past year will have been one of the toughest you've ever faced. And it's been the same for students too, who have faced disruption in their learning and had to adapt to a whole new way of doing things. 
On behalf of the LMC, I'd like to express my gratitude to all our current and future nurses, midwives and nursing associates, including everybody on the COVID-19 temporary register, for everything that you've achieved over this past year. Thank you so very, very much.